it's not fun. Oh, yes. I just work here. What? Welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am a professional soul singer. Today on Soul Singer Discovers, together we're going to be discovering. Can I just, can you play it for me? My dudes, how are you? I come to you today from sunny Scotland. Sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I haven't been called fat for a whole 45 minutes. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing down there? Watching my fat guy head, honey. I hope you're incredibly well. It's so lovely to see you, kind of. We're going to inject some of the fun into fundamentals. What? I don't know, okay? I just work here. It's my first day. A bigger boy told me to do it. It's a little bit of a different one here today on Soul Singer Discovers because I would like to bring a little bit of nonsense to your day to day. Respectable nonsense. And whilst we'll absolutely be going back to Dio to one of his other fabulous songs and performances, today we're going to be discovering Dio in the studio singing his part of Kickapoo from the Pick of Destiny. <laughs> yes! I, I saw Pick of Destiny years and years and years ago. Um, I don't remember much of it, to be honest. I remember thinking it was hilarious the whole way through. Uh, I really love Jack Black. I love Tenacious D. Uh, Connection. I, I love that first album that they made. And yes, well, I understand some people um, in varying parts of rock and metal think that uh, Tenacious D and uh, Jack Black are a joke. I mean, first of all, yeah. That's the point. You motherfucker. Second of all, perhaps, but I think some of the songwriting is really good and I also think Jack Black's voice is very good voice. But we're not listening to him, we're going to be listening to Dio. But we're going to be watching him in the studio. I love watching singers in the studio. I love watching little parts of the pro process, like how they dress and if do they have tea? Do they wear both of their headphones? Because I don't, I only wear one. So let's look. This is Dio singing his part of Kickapoo. Can, yeah. can I just, can you play it for me from the end of Go My Son, no, Go My Son and Rock into the softer bit? Just, just for listening. Just for already listening. love it. Already. Just for listening. Just for listening. Um, oh, come on, Dio. Like, I, I think one of the things I love about Dio is how much everyone loves Dio. That's one of my favourite things about Dio. I, it is undeniable, like, his vocals are out of this world. Put it this way, right? See on the Dio video that I did? And you can go and find it on my channel. Out of all of the comments, one person, out of all of the comments, one person said, I don't really rate Dio. Now, that person with respect, was dropped on their head as a child. Because Dio is outstanding as a singer and a vocalist, he's just something else. But also um, a really sweet person. Everyone had all of these amazing comments about how he was so sweet and all of the different things that he did to help people. And oh, I also love at the end there, now he would have been a fair age here. Um, and we are going to go back at some point and do Young Dio and Dio in various guises and, you know, we'll do him in Black Sabbath and we'll do him in Rainbow. But his vibrato, Dio's vibrato with that distortion, I genuinely do think that Dio's distortion is a, just a natural part of his voice. I don't think it's very heavily affected. He probably does dig into it a bit more, but I, I don't think it's something that he has to try to conjure up. The frequency, the oscillation of his vibrato is wide and it's quick and it's, it's, oh... It's glorious. Let's keep going. Nailing it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that was it. I mean, you... <laughs> cool, cool. Is it too much? No, Is it too much? Great. Oh, Dio. Now go, my son, and rock. That part, yeah. In the city of fallen angels, where the ocean meets the sea, you will form a strong alliance, and the ones who are so bad.
Oh. No. And sing harmonies on them too? No. And backing vocals? <laughs> it's no fun. I want to do more. <laughs> no, it's great. I'm glad you're happy with it. Oh, God. He's got, he's got, he's got 11 pins on his hair. Yeah, his times I can't of believe this has really happened. This, um... Poof, oh, Dio. Uh, I just also love his interactions with people in the studio. I think you can tell a lot about a, mu a musician from how they behave in the studio. Because being in the studio, um, depending on what day it is, is not fun. It's not fun. That's not true. Sometimes it is fun. But sometimes you'll have hard days and sometimes you'll be like, I have been here for 12 hours and I want to go home. I've had enough now. I don't even like music anymore. <laughs> and depending on the kind of people you're working with, that can you can get a second wind or you can just lie down on the floor somewhere and cry. Come along, and I feel like working with Dio would be an absolute treat. An absolute treat. R.I.P. Dio, you still from the grave managed to bring light and sunshine into everyone's life with your voice and your attitude and the many stories of you being just a genuinely lovely man. Hope you've all enjoyed this little snippet today, a little fun one chucked in there for good measure. If there's other little videos that you would like me to discover, other little tiny snippets of studio work or maybe even interviews that you think I should really check out that have vocals in them and are maybe rock or metal, give me a shout. Until the next time when I can listen to a 14 minute Dio song. <laughs> Praise be to Dio.